Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hedy, want to give you an update. We do have severe threat rolling in later on today. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. Um, we have actually a severe threat tonight and then again on Tuesday as well. My wife is mowing, so I get a little noisy here. But so uh, we're on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, and then once you subscribe, you get that little bell in the top right corner, and that will give you some notifications. So the way we're going to handle tonight, uh, these storms aren't moving in until pretty late, um, probably 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Hey, Bo. Bo's got a rough life, and he's on the struggle bus today. Um, needs a lot of attention. So these storms are going to move in actually pretty late, uh, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So Nick is on, the, today's my day off, Nick is on, so unless things look really bad, which they don't look really bad right now, we're going to have some severe thunderstorms, but the tornadic potential is a little bit lower, so uh, unless things really ramp up, I'm not going to go in. I'll stay here and I'll stream on uh, the KOM's YouTube or this YouTube, depending on the situation. Don't worry, I'll let you guys know. All right, so let's break down what's going to happen because it does get kind of interesting. If you live in southeastern Kansas, uh, you're not going to get much of the action. Most of the action is going to be kind of along and south of the I-44 corridor. Here's 930. Watch these storms explode. Uh, here's 10 p.m. Let's go to 11 p.m. You can see them right through the metro, right along I-44 and south as we go through uh, the overnight hours tonight. So here's 11 p.m. and most likely at this time we're going to have some severe thunderstorms. Now, when I say severe, what are we looking for? We're looking for winds gusting at about 60 miles per hour and then uh, some quarter size hail. We could get a little bit bigger hail than that. So that's something we want to watch again. Tornado threat is low. Let's step through time here through the overnight hours for us tonight. You can see very heavy amounts of rain. A big solid line really forms by midnight again along and south of I-44 and then I think by one or two o'clock in the morning the front's going to sink far enough south that we don't really have a tornado threat but we are going to get showers and thunderstorms as we go through the rest of the overnight hours tonight. Bo, you're not helping much at all. I know you think you are but you really are not. All right so that's what's going to happen tonight. Let's step into Tuesday. Tuesday is a little interesting. Um, so what's going on on Tuesday so we're going to go through time. You'll see the thunderstorms tonight into tomorrow morning. Severe weather stays to our south tomorrow. And then as we get into Tuesday afternoon, we have a highly capped atmosphere. So when I say a capped atmosphere, what that means is we have a lid on the atmosphere. So it's very hard for thunderstorms to bust through that lid. However, if they do get through that lid, they're going to go severe very quickly. Most likely, they're going to be tornadic on Tuesday afternoon. Central Kansas, Southeast Kansas, Central Oklahoma, Northeastern Oklahoma. So that's something we want to watch. Best case scenario, the cap never breaks. We don't get any storms. But if that cap breaks, uh, things are going to get very interesting Tuesday afternoon. All right, so let's go through Tuesday. So this model's projecting the cap to break. Here's 5.30 p.m. Let's go to 7 p.m severe thunderstorms in southeast Kansas, central Missouri, and again, most likely uh, large hail, gusty winds, and some tornadoes with this batch of storms. So that is something I want to watch as well. But as of right now, the cap's going to have a very hard time breaking, which is good news. But again, if it does break, we could have um, some tornadic cells on our hands. So that's something we want to watch. Let's get through tonight first. And again, I'll probably do another video about eight, nine o'clock, give you guys an update, let you guys know what's going on. And then I'll figure out if I need to go in tonight or if it's a little lower grade that I can stream from home. I prefer to stream from home because it's Sunday. So I'm gonna get outside, get some work done, um, hang with the dog, struggle bus dog. And uh, I, I'm smoking some ribs. So it's actually turning out to be a pretty good day. All right guys, chat soon.